second. Hi guys, welcome back to 54th part of the Arduino tutorials. In this video, we'll be working on R307 fingerprint sensor, where we'll show you the steps to enroll or store the fingerprints on different IDs, match the user fingerprint with the stored ones, and delete the fingerprints. So make sure you watch the complete video. Before starting, we'll try to understand very basic working principle of this sensor. This is the optical fingerprint sensor where light source is used to capture unique patterns on the fingers. These patterns with the help of lens reach through the image sensor where it converts to electrical format. Later, it is easily processed with the microcontroller chips. In this R307 fingerprint sensor module, at the back side, we can see the electronic circuit, which has AS608 controller IC. This chip acts as a main core processing unit and handles all the tasks of this fingerprint sensor, like image capture, processing, storing, search and comparison. Additionally, it supports UART protocol through which it can communicate with the other microcontrollers. So here, the Arduino board will not handle anything on the image capture and storage. It only gives instructions through AT commands to perform the respective operation and get back the results from the fingerprint sensor through UART protocol. For this video, you need Arduino board, R307 fingerprint sensor module, and some jumper wires. I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in they have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms along with Arduino components there are also other categories so this single platform will help you to get all the required materials for your projects make sure you explore their products I leave the link in the description box moving on to the connections on the fingerprint sensor, we can see the pin numbers from 1 to 6. So this first pin is VCC, pin 2 is ground, pin 3 is TX and pin 4 is RX. We just need these 4 pins. 5th and 6th pin can be kept unconnected. VCC and ground goes to Arduino 5 volts and ground. Third TX pin goes to Arduino digital pin 2 and the fourth RX pin goes to Arduino digital pin 3. That's it the connections. We'll provide the reference circuit diagram link in the description box. Moving on to the code, we'll be trying out three operations. First is enrolling the fingerprints, that is storing the fingerprint to the IDs. Second is to search and match the fingerprints with the stored ones. And the third one is to delete the stored fingerprints. To make the code simpler, we'll install the Adafruit fingerprint library. Connect your system to internet open Arduino ID, go to sketch, include library, manage libraries. Here search for Adafruit fingerprint. 
so you'll get this option click on install after installation you can close this window in this library they have provided a class adafruit fingerprint which has multiple member functions for capturing the image converting the image to template file creating the model storing the model deleting the model and searching the stored models these functions return different values for success failure and error scenarios considering these return values appropriate message will be printed on the serial monitor all the three codes which will be using here will follow the same approach i'll connect arduino board to the computer moving to the first code go to file examples examples from custom libraries adafruit fingerprint sensor library open enroll code select the correct board and the port and upload open the serial monitor if everything is okay it says found fingerprint sensor and gives all the parameters of the sensor at last it shows please type in the id here we can store up to 127 different fingerprints so we have to give id number at which we want to save first i'll give 1 and click on send So after that just follow the instructions what you get here place the finger and remove it again place the same finger it has successfully stored the fingerprint to id1 so similarly i'll store one more fingerprint to id2 the second fingerprint is stored in id2 so this is on the fingerprints enrollment next is to search the fingerprints and match for that again go to file examples adafruit fingerprint library and open fingerprint code after uploading open the serial monitor by default it says no fingerprint detected so if i place the correct fingerprint you get a message fingerprint found along with the id for wrong fingerprints it gives a message did not find a match this is on the second code and moving on to the last one which is the delete code in the file example open delete code and upload open the serial monitor same as the enroll code here also it says please type the id from which you want to delete the fingerprints so i'll give one and click on send and you get deleted message in the same way 
I'll delete the fingerprints stored on ID2 and it got deleted. So that's on the code part. I hope this video helps you to understand the basic usage of the fingerprint sensor with the Arduino board. In the next video, we'll use the fingerprint search and comparison code. Based on the results, we'll try to control the solenoid lock and make fingerprint based door lock project. Stay tuned and subscribe for more interesting videos. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next one.